Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ثم اما بعد الله عز وجل ان سوره الحشر ايه نمبر 18 هي سيز يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله ولتنظر نفس ما قدمت لغد واتقوا الله ان الله خبير بما تعملون Allah Azza wa Jalla starts Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu and when we hear these words our ears should perk up we should sit up straight we are just about to be spoken to by Allah Azza wa Jalla you see if, if one was spoken to by their father or their boss or someone that they respected or or adored we give that kind of attention and so we expect the same when Allah Azza wa Jalla says Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu right Ya ayyuha nas we're paying attention so what is what is the message contained here Allah Azza wa Jal is, is speaking directly to us Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu what does Allah Azza wa Jal tell us to do Ittaqullah fear Allah make make uh, uh, room for Allah in your calculation right so we taqwa isn't just fear it's it's basically self preservation so if there's an oncoming car and it's about to hit us us getting out of the way is taqwa we're not scared of the car but we're scared of what the repercussions of me being in this position is are so it's that's what taqwa really is so Allah azza wa jalla says ya ayyuha alladhina amanu ittaqullah fear Allah azza wa jalla ittaqullah wal tanzur nafsun wal tanzur nafsun ma qaddamat li ghad what does that mean we must look at our past because this is what our future is what does that mean Allah Azza wa Jalla is saying our actions our previous history our transactions in this world is what dictates what our future is فَالْتَنْدُرْ نَفْسٌ مَا قَدَّمَتْ past tense what did we do past tense لِغَدْ for the future what have we done what have we prepared for the future وَالْتَنْدُرْ نَفْسٌ مَا قَدَّمَتْ لِغَدْ إن الله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وتنظروا نفس ما قدمت لغد واتقوا الله في الله جن الله عز وجل عز وجل says إن الله الله عز وجل indeed knows intimately intimately what we are all up to I want to point out a couple of things here الله عز وجل is asking us to self reflect and is asking us to reflect in such a way where we correct actions why do we why do we self reflect it's because we're trying to correct uh, correct our actions correct our course and so if we are looking and we do nothing about it then we haven't fulfilled Allah fulfilled Allah azza wa jalla's commands and if we fail to to look in the first place then we have also failed to 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 uh, obey Allah azza wa jalla's commands so the point is to look at the past and do something about it and Allah azza wa jalla then says again fear Allah azza wa jalla for he is intimate he know he knows intimate knowledge of of everything about you and so Allah azza wa jalla is expecting us to refl- to self reflect in such a in such a detailed way that only we would know So if I say uh, I wasn't praying but now I'm praying well are you praying or are you just praying so that people see that you're praying this is the kind of intimate knowledge that only you would have and so the self correction shouldn't just be a facade the self correction should be internal and external because Allah azza wa jalla is khabir he knows intimately about us so this is one message Allah azza wa jalla then continues and he says ولا تكونوا كالذين نسوا الله فانساهم انفسهم اولئك هم الفاسقون يا الله and do not be so Allah Azza says fear Allah self correct constantly self reflect look at where you're going course correct when you need to and do not be like those who have forgotten themselves uh, who have uh, who have forgotten Allah Azza wa Jal so uh, so that Allah, so Allah Azza wa Jal made them forget themselves what does that mean what it means basically is if we lose sight of the path and i start you know i'll come back to that tomorrow i i know my gps is saying i need to head in this direction but i mean what's the small detour what's the small distraction here and there it's not a big deal so what allah azza wa jalla is saying is if if you keep forgetting this main course this what the gps is saying what allah azza wa jalla is ordering us to go to what we in every single prayer ask allah azza wa jalla to do which is ihdina siratal mustaqim we ask allah azza wa jalla please guide us please guide us please guide us and as i'm saying please guide us i'm looking for a small detour 
So Allah Azza is saying, if you keep doing that, if you lose sight of that main road, of that main course, where that's supposed to take you, Allah Azza wa will make you forget all about that course in the first place. So Allah Azza wa He handpicked us for the roles that we're in. He picked us to, to even have sight of the road in the first place. And just like Allah Azza wa gave us that ability to see the road, He can also strip that ability away. And so when Allah Azza wa says, وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ نَسُوا اللَّهَ فَأَنْسَاهُمْ أَنفُسَهُمْ That should hit very hard. That should hit very, very hard. Because Allah Azza wa is saying, listen, I'm giving you a privilege and I'm giving you a chance. But that chance is not here forever. That chance is not here forever. So self-reflect and self-reflect properly and deeply and intimately. And don't just make it a, a, a facade. Don't just try to show people that you're changing. No, 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 no. Self-reflect deeply because if you don't and if you lose sight of it and if you, you know, are distracted constantly, what's going to happen is Allah Azza will strip that away from you. Allah Azza will strip that away from us. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولذكر الله أكبر الله يعلم ما أستغفر الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين So Allah عز وجل He gives us these A. It's a solution to the problem that we already know how, how, what, is the, what is the issue, what is the problem that, that we have, what you already know? We constantly veer off course. It's human nature. We constantly veer off course. And perhaps because Allah Azza wa created us and He knows this, this is perhaps why He shows mercy to us and is Rahim with us. But what Allah Azza wa is saying that is that don't abuse it. If we keep detouring and we keep detouring, there will come a point where we take one small detour and we come back and the road is no longer there because I don't see it. And what's sad is I don't see it, but my brother does see it. And my, my friend sees it. And my sister and my mother, they can all see it, but I am stripped of that privilege. And so now I am, I am one of the losers and there's no coming back from that. And so we must be very, very careful, right? Not to be so distracted. So we constantly need to remind each other. And this is the point. Allah Azza wa says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, all of you who believe, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, taqu allaha, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, taqu allaha, wal tanzur nafsun. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, plural, taqu allaha, all of us, wal tanzur nafsun. Like Allah Azza wa then starts to, to dictate to us individually. When we're self-reflecting, we're self-reflecting individually. Because this is A, a task nobody can help you with. But also B, when we do face Allah Azza wa we're not facing Allah Azza wa with our posse. We're not facing Allah, that friend that used to distract me away, I'm not facing Allah Azza wa with him. I don't, he doesn't even have my back. I'm facing Allah Azza wa individually on my own. And so Allah Azza wa says, the, the, the taqwa part is a group activity, but the self-reflection is individual. Now it helps for someone to point out these things, but it's up to me how I take these things. Right? It's up to me how I take these things. Allah Azza wa in Surah Al-Baqarah says, and there are those that when you give them advice, ittaqillah. Ya, ya akhi, ittaqillah. What do they do? Akhadatul al-izzatu bil They get, me ittaqillah. Yo, I do this and I pray this and I do that and I give donation. So it's, how, it's up to us how we take the advice. But the taqwa is a group activity. Why? Because we constantly remind each other. We kind of we constantly keep each other in check. When we when you have good friends and good brothers that you know take your hand, hey, why don't you? We, why don't we go to the mosque? Why don't we do this? Why don't we give sadaqa to this organization? Why don't whatever it may be. Let's let's just remember Allah. But whatever it may be, right? Any good act, if the niyyah is right, it's a group activity. It's a group activity. And so we strengthen each other by having the, this, this kind of relationship with our brothers. Yet, every night, this is something that we know from Umar radiallahu anhu, what he would do is before he would sleep, he would go through his entire day. What did I do today? Was today a net positive or a net negative? This is something we do internally with ourselves. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyidul Mursaleen Allahumma ya Rahman ya Rahim Laka alhamdu ala kulli shay Laka alhamdu ala ma a'atayt Wa laka alhamdu ala ma amsakt Laka alhamdu awwalan wa akhiran wa abada Oh Allah Azza wa Jal We thank you for everything ya Allah We thank you for everything You hold the keys to everything Everything that you have withheld from us We thank you for And everything that you have given us We thank you for We thank you Allah Azza wa Jal For, for being in this, in this special place During these difficult times We thank you for this privilege ya Allah We thank you for 
you're showing us the right path. And Ya Allah Azza wa we ask you to, stay, to keep us on this straight path. Ya Allah, show us the truth for what it is and allow us to follow it. And show us the falsehood for what it is and allow us to avoid it. Allahumma Ya Rahman, ikhfir lana dhunubana, urhamna, wadkhil mawtana jannah ya Rabb, wadkhilna a'la jannatika ya Rabbil alameen, wassalatu wassalamu ala Sayyid al-Mursaleen, wa aqim as-salam.